Paul Bassett, a joint CEO of Seek. Uh, we based in Australia. Uh, we also have investments in businesses in Southeast Asia, China, uh, and Brazil and Mexico. Focused on online employment and vocational educational training. And one of the things we're really passionate about and have been uh, since our inception in 1997 is having highly motivated employees and having high levels of employee engagement. Um, not only is it the right thing to do to have people who are passionate about the organisation and feel as though their contribution is valued, but we think it also leads to successful business outcomes. And how do you uh, how do you achieve that in your company? Because that's a lot of what Benita. I think yeah. Are. Look, I think a lot of it is about openness, and transparency, and people feeling as though they're being rewarded and recognised, and their contributions valued. All those things I think are really important. There's no magic to it, but I think it's about you know it starts with a, a, an open and transparent relationship between the organisation and the individuals. Let me ask you another thing is one of the kind of, it's almost a little bit of a stalking horse is Vinit's idea of this idea of tor turning the organization upside down. To be honest, he kind of backed off a little bit later that, you know, both, but the idea of, of managers being a, uh, he's not saying that the, the for ground level employees run the company, yeah. but they're responsible for change and also that managers are as accountable to them yeah. as they are to managers. Yeah, any absolutely. Thoughts on that? Absolutely. I think it's, it's a two-way relationship. Uh -huh. and. Uh, you know, clearly there needs to be an accountability from the individual to their manager. But absolutely, the manager's accountable for the individual in terms of helping develop them and helping, you know, helping them advance their career and achieve their career objectives. I agree completely. What is the, in your business, what's the role of the kind of front, who is the frontline employee in your business? Oh, look, probably our, our call centre, our customer service people who are dealing with customer queries every day, maybe having problems logging into their accounts. Um, not want to help writing writing a job ad, uh, how to categorise the ad, all sorts of different problems. So they're very much on the front line, dealing with with lots of customers every day. What uh, last question? What advice would um, what advice would you give to uh, somebody starting a company who um, not about their uh, product or service, but about how to manage it? Look, I think ultimately it's about attracting people to your organisation who are very passionate about what they do and about creating an environment where people can be motivated and really believe in what they do. Because ultimately, you know, in any startup organisation, um, you know, your key asset is always going to be the people. And having people who are motivated and engaged and talented and being able to retain those people is absolutely critical. So creating that sort of environment, I think, is very important. Is there anything personally you do to, to, to try to... Uh that you can think about you um, personally and trying to yeah, achieve look, that? Look, lots of things. I mean, we, we spend a lot of time on an induction, so I spend time with all new employees when they start, uh, but also we do something um, periodically, once a month, sit down with about 10 or a dozen people randomly across the business, we call it Seek Speak, where people get an opportunity to talk about the things that we could do better, the areas we can improve, and a whole lot of specific ideas have come out of that, really specifically about Seek as an employer and how we can do a better job and how we can continue to be a very, very good employer.